Not that long ago, I took apart this LED head torch and I was quite impressed. I liked the fact it had such a big lithium cell inside that was properly secured inside. And it had this proximity detector function. I showed how to disable that because it was really annoying. It would just false trigger. And I thought, you know, I quite like the design of that. The only weakness I found in it was that it does require a special lead to charge it because it's got the charging protection, the 4.2 volt limit built in and the current limiting. And also, it didn't have anything to turn it off at the end. If you left it on in your bag, it could potentially over-discharge the lithium cell, which damages the cells. So I thought, well, let's see uh, what these other types are like, because there are a few types online. So I ordered another of the black ones, because I quite liked it. I thought it was, I was, thought I was ordering the same one. Turns out it's not. Uh, it looks identical. Different circuit board. And I ordered this one that seemed identical, but was white. So um, they arrived today, and... Uh, I just popped them open, Just the, I popped the white one open first just to see if there's much difference, and there is a significant difference. The first thing that I noticed was it was completely flat. I thought, well, maybe the battery's got protection and it, it's cut out and that. Um, and the lead it came with, unlike the others that come with the active circuitry in the lead for charging, this one just comes with a straight-through lead. It's not got circuitry in it, I've checked with a meter, and it's straight through, five volts in. Uh, and if you look in the circuit board, there's no current limiting or charge circuitry. There's a little transistor here, but that's actually used to turn the power on to the proximity detector. So, uh, basically speaking, the input port goes straight to the lithium cell. So I thought, well, it must be protection the lithium cell then, so I took the cover off it, peeled back the tape, which is quite sticky tape, noting in this instance that the case of the lithium cell is actually negative. So it's got the negative connection sold to the side of the case, and the positive is in the end, and uh, it seems to be the correct polarity. But uh, there's no charge protection circuitry in here at all. It's just straight into the lithium cell. There's, it's not the little plastic module in the end. And that means that theoretically, because I'm not going to try it, if you plug this into charge with this lead, um, it's going to try, try and charge that lithium cell up to about 5 volts, and that's not going to end well. It actually looks slightly... it doesn't look flat. Um, so I wonder, uh, is this a mistake? Was it supposed to go with something like this? Has somebody over-economised? Another thing about this, uh, the case, although it looks identical to others, it, it doesn't have the sort of a, at least an attempt at a waterproof button. It's a hard plastic button. And the cell inside, it's quite a deep case, but it, it's actually got a smaller cell in it than the other ones, much smaller. And they've got the, these support pillars here, and these support pillars here, plus a bit of foam. So you're actually, it's it's not, it's not a good, I, I wouldn't recommend buying one of these because it doesn't have that protection. So moving on to the other one that uh, arrived, I thought this was just going to be the same as this, but it turns out that all these units have different circuit boards. And this one has a 14-pin uh, chip. Again, no markings in the chip, but pretty much the same sort of design with the proximity detect that when you get up close to it, it turns it on and off. But uh, this one has the 4.2-volt uh, and current-limiting charging supply, and I might be wrong, but I think there's a little circuit board in here, so um, I'm thinking we should actually cut this open and take a look. So I'm going to get the scissors into this. Now is that just termination, or is that actually control circuitry? That has full circuitry on it. I can see the chip underneath and a little, uh, well that looks like a little MOSFET driver up here for switching uh, underneath here, and it looks like the wee control chip, the, is it DW01? So this one does actually seem to have the charge protection, and this one too came absolutely flat, but burst into life very quickly when it was charged, suggesting that I just automatically cut off. So, um, th this is very odd. I, I wonder what's happened here with this one. I wonder if someone's made a mistake or they've just over-economised or it's just lack of understanding. But, um, I would say if you buy one of these head torches and it's got just an ordinary lead instead of the ones with the active electronic dongle on the end, then I'd be very wary about charging these up. I'll provide links to these, but um, I'll also note in the link, uh, don't buy it, you know, because I think this is a bit dangerous, this one. 
Uh, but this one, uh, so far, and I tested the quiescent current, it's super low. This one is the winner so far, but the problem is, because they all look identical, you just don't know what you're going to get. So, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting to see that there's so many variations on this design. Oh, this one also has one little extra feature. It comes with the, um, the bung that goes in here that you can actually put into the socket. I mean, the thing isn't waterproof, but at least that does make an effort to stop, you know, splashes or sand going into the um, charging port. So yeah, uh, this is my favourite so far, but um, very suspicious about that one.